Hello, uh, this video is sh to show this guy. The hell is this guy? This is an MVP timer I made for Ragnarok. Why the hell would you make an MVP timer? Well, aside from the fact that it's a pain in the ass to write down uh, numbers for every MVP you killed, even if I wanted to use one of the existing free ones that are out there right now, first of all, they're painfully outdated. Um, and the ones that aren't outdated uh, not only don't have the features that I want, uh, but they also aren't entirely helpful since the server I'm playing on right now is a private server, and MVP respawn times are cut in half. So instead of, um, say, if I just use a random MVP timer and killed, Golden Thief Bug. Instead of being an hour, it's it's 30 minutes on the server I'm on. So uh, the ones that are out there right now, they don't let you change that time because they would just assume that you're playing on like, you know, an official server and that it's it's an hour. Uh, regardless, um, that's why I made one. So uh, I also wanted it to be extremely simple to use. Uh, with as few clicks as possible. Um, so the easiest thing to make a new timer is when you've just killed it yourself. So let's say we just killed uh, Turtle General. So create a new timer. Here's the timer window. Choose which MVP you want to kill. Here's the list that I have right now. Um, it doesn't have every single boss. Uh, I only added the ones that I usually kill in uh, any time I start up an MVP party. Um, you just, it's only only for pubs. It's because uh, like there's no there's no Valkyrie, there's no Ifrit, there's no uh, Beelzebub, because pubbies um, have a bit of an issue fighting those people. Uh, we actually have issues fighting some of these people, like uh, I think Weak usually I have trouble with because he hits really hard and people really don't know what to do about it. Um, Dark Lord is difficult because of his uh, hell judgment, I think. That uh, people don't know you're supposed to stand on Numa. You're far away. Um, but I think that's pretty much it. RSX's Earthquake doesn't hurt too much. Um, De Tartarus. Not too many puppies. Anyways, uh, yeah, back to the timer. Um, so I wanted to make a Turtle General timer. So I clicked on the M6 MVP button. Um, it's the bosses are listed in alphabetical order from left to right, top to bottom. So scroll down here to T, grab my turtle general. So now it's got his map. Uh, he always spawns in the same spot. And let's say I just killed him. So I have my timer. And then that'll, so um, it's one o'clock pretty much right now. Um, so he'll respawn at 1.30. Uh, let's say we just killed, we just killed Maya. Uh, her tombstone is in the top right corner of the map. So I add my little marker up there so that I know where she died. Add timer. And that counts down in 60 minutes. So she will respawn, or her variant, it's not she will respawn exactly this time because they have a variant time, which is they'll spawn anywhere between uh, 60 minutes and 65 minutes. but. Uh, you know, you want to be there just in case the, there's no variants. Um, but for some MVPs, like I think Leek, Leek has no variants time. As soon as uh, as soon as his respawn time is up, he's there. So we'll drop a tomb over there so that we know we can go over there and immediately get him. Uh, the other feature, uh, so okay, so that's adding a new timer when you killed it. So. Uh, back to our turtle general example, how many clicks is it? One, two, three, four. Four clicks at a timer. Extremely easy. Uh, let's say we didn't kill turtle general. Let's say someone else killed him at uh, 12, 12, 1237. So we write 1237 in there, add our timer. Oop, I fucked up. Um, is it not 1237? 1237 should work. 
his respawn time? 30 minutes. Did you say? Okay. Uh, so there's a bit of a bug. Okay, and we're back. Uh, the issue was simply putting a line inside of an if statement. Ugh, when it should not have been in the if statement. Should have been before it. So here we are again. So grab my MVP. He'll die down there, and he died at 12:34. So when's he gonna spawn? 21 minutes. We killed Leak. Someone killed him up there. Kill the mat. I don't know. 12:17. He's gonna spawn in four minutes. Um, Orc Lords respawn. Nah, let's do so who's half an hour. Um, uh, uh, Raw is half an hour. So he always spawns in the same spot, so I'm not going to put a marker. So it is 1.13 at the moment. So minus half an hour would be um, 12, let's say... 12.44 he dies, so he should spawn. So he's going to spawn in less than a minute. But if I try to enter his time for, let's say, 12.17, it's not going to work. Because he'd already respawned at that point. Uh, so it stops you from doing stuff like that. Uh, and as you can see, uh, if I add a Garm... And I add a Dark Lord. The closer it gets to the respawn time, the brighter in red it gets. And what? The closer they respawn, the higher they are to the top. So. That's the little sound that plays when, um, when the MVP has uh, respawned. Uh, in quotes, because he hasn't necessarily respawned yet, except for Leak. Ooh will definitely respawn in three minutes uh, but you know if you want to get there be like oh you know his variant time is gonna start in three minutes so let's all go camp on Monra uh, but yeah there it is uh, that's my MVP timer in its current state um, I might add an edit and uh, change let you change the alerts by you I mean let me change the alerts Probably not for a while, as this it's basically has all the functionality that I wanted um, at this point. Uh, also, if it's if it's like midnight or something like that, um, and someone killed him the day before, so say they killed Atros at you know 11:45 or 11 11:13 the day before, so you would do 11:13, and then you would tick this little this little box for the for yesterday, so it would know that you're not trying to get 11.13 of today, which is 10 hours into the future, um, you're getting it from yesterday. Alright, uh, that is all that I can think of. So, uh, uh,